I, I think they that's fixed five, now five, and uh four, four, three, unless three, like two, you're three, like missing one, mobs one. completely because you you have AOE abilities that get you aggro on, on everything right so unless you're like completely missing a mob that joins the pack or something like a patrol you have absolutely no problem holding aggro of course there's always a chance you play like uh, with somebody which is like 3.2k aggro and they just do so much dps that you cannot Thank hold you. aggro but uh that's very rare occasion uh, I'm not lost in this. Ooh, maybe I can culturize this. Right there we go. Oh no. Interrupt. So I have to move and heal myself. Great. Shockwave. Now we're gonna have the bursting stacks. Uh, defensive here. I'll use communion. Try to Shockwave. save everybody. It's so unfair. Why is my tank dying? Ooh, that's a good way to uh, get rid of the entangling, actually. Just uh, VE someone. Yeah, so the main problems that you're going to be having as a tank is... How do you do some of the pulls so that you don't pull extra pack? Um, you know, just uh, not getting extra patrols or something like that. I can dispel that, right? Oop, what is this disease? Oh no, it's a disease. He's dead. Three, two, and one. let's Great do this. Oh, no. They're not interrupting, man. And I got hit by the. Oh, you're dead. One thing I had about the Evoker. What is this? Like a 40 sec? Yeah, it's a 40 second cooldown on the interrupt. It's just way too long. I don't mind being at longer, but boy, 40 seconds is punishing. Mind Guns, Papa. Oh, why did I heal you, man? You get mind control, that was gonna be free healing. The mage is standing over here, so let's do this. Keep moving. Let's do this. Three, I should have two, done stasis here. Spread. This is annoying. Which one is it? This one. Alright, let's see who you pick. Not the mage. Yeah, you're dead, man. Three, I guess he didn't two, have defensive. One. What could I have done? Maybe do this. Maybe echo first. I don't know. If you're playing with Shadow Priest Reap, yeah. Exactly. Mind control. Oh, can you pick the warlock? Can we have a battle res? Three, two, one. I guess they don't care. Mind control. Oh no, another mind control. Res. Keep moving. Actually, I'm gonna do this now. Spread. I'm even gonna do this now. Three, Jesus, why is two, this so much damage? Break and why are we not rezzing? Spread. Oh, good thing he rezzed. Beautiful. 
three, two, one. Man, why do we have a warlock if he's not battle resin? I'm not resing this guy. If he thinks I'm resing him, he's wrong. I'm not an optimist for this key. So here, I actually I could have done the uh, time dilation thing. I could have saved. I think this guy is just pulling aggro. Shockwave. The soul thorns will be fun, yeah. I know. Shockwave. I want to say this is like the only other pain point in this dungeon, but some groups actually struggle with so many things in here. It's not even funny. Besides my tank, I have to heal him a little bit, which is not a good sign. So usually when that happens, um, tanks struggle on even on like bosses like... Uh, what is the the guy with the dinner bell? I forgot his name. Interrupt. But yeah, they, they run away from him and he does consume all and we wipe. And they're like, why didn't you heal to it? One heal? No yeah, man. Not healing to that. I think Monk is the scariest tank to heal. Incredibly volatile. Um there was a point <clears throat> where monks were my uh, favorite tanks to heal. Oh, that's a lot of bobs, man. Oh, uh, no. Let's do that. They're not interrupting. Uh, because keep in mind that the monk is technically taking less damage Watch than the rest. Uh, because of the staggering. Interrupt. Oh, seven stacks. Come so, Jesus. Interrupt. Hold on. Do we survive this? Watch your oh, two stacks. I'm not surviving this. Three, two, Watch your one. Okay, cauterize this and we're chilling. Uh, so I was gonna say that uh, monks supposedly take a little bit less damage because of the staggering and then they take the rest of the damage later. So if you're actually playing with a good monk, uh, they're supposedly easier to heal than some of the other times. But that is entirely up to like the player. Watch your step. For the most time I would struggle to heal the uh, DKs until I realized that you just don't heal them. You know, that's a thing. They heal themselves. So uh yeah, so that's actually a good point. Which is the hardest tank to Three, heal right now? Two, one. I had a lot of trouble with Paladins at the start of the season, but maybe once they got a little bit of gear and probably a little bit of buffs, they were step? fine. Oh, great. Let's pull more. Honestly, right now, all the tanks are actually DHs. And... Three, two, I've one. seen DKs. And Pallis, yeah. So there's not that many bears. There's not... Um, that many monks. <laughs> Don't forget Zephyr. Yep. I kind of save this always for like some big boss mechanics, but it's just a two minute cooldown, right? So you, you should be using it a lot more. It will make some pulls much easier. Yeah, definitely. Does Zephyr work with uh, bursting? Because <clears throat> if it does, I can actually use it for that. I hope this guy's coming back. <clears throat> Three, two, one. 
actually, Wait, let's right. do this and then chill. I'm not sure if it works with bursting. Oh, hold on, let's heal a little bit here. Oh no, six stacks. I'm doing this. Alright, I'll try this. I'll try this. I'm saving you guys. I'm saving everybody. Hell yeah. Seven stacks. Come more. If bursting is considered AoE, it's probably not actually, you're correct. It's just a dot, which is like... Yeah, I don't think it's AoE. I think we answered that question, but... <laughs> it's worth a try. Please come back, tank. Oh, yeah, he's coming back. Oh, that's him. Okay, hello. Can we do this? Two, there we go. One. Hit the door. <laughs> mm, 40 seconds on last, so does that mean boss next? Probably not. <laughs> He's going in. Come on, boy. You can open the door. There we go. <coughs> right, he's coming back. He's coming back, boys. Go out. Go out. Yeah, the vines are actually annoying on the evoker. I think it's every other healer class that has something to get out of them without moving. And it's just the evoker that suffers. Not the vine. Oh, that was quick. Okay, I like these guys. Boxing the thorns. Maybe I'll have to use the time dilation on the tank. Judging from how things are going. Yeah, I was just trying to save the time dilation for, uh, let's reversion this, for uh, when I actually need it, and then I got scared for the tank. Ooh, did he burn him twice? What is going on? Let's do this. Let's save him, save him, save him, save him, save him. Nope, he's dead. There we Three, go. Two, one. I don't like how much damage he's taking. Three, two, one. Wait, wait. All right, he lives. He lives, boys. Mr. Stewart. Three, 
Don't make me move. Commit. Nice touch. Break oh, this Watch is gonna be annoying stick. here. Shockwave. There we go, bait to the side. Three, two, Kill ads. one. Break by watch your step. Oh. your step. Three, two, one. Shockwave. Clearly now. Kill ads. Watch your step. your step mm, don't get hit shot wave watch your feet okay that was cringe three watch your two, step one great vines oh stupid vines man so annoying I'm panicking here. All right, so far so good. Is there a witch in there this week? And if I've done it, oh, we need more pulls here. Yeah, seventy-one percent. Oh no! Don't tell me you're pulling archers. All right, he's not. He's not. I'm just tripping. Man, I hope the worms don't burst. Are the witches random? Uh, yeah, so first the locations are random. You can get one at the start, you can get one here, there's one in the kitchen. Um, and then there's two type of witches. There's the ones that cast the soul bolts, etc. And then there's the ones that cast the edge. So all of these, which witch you get and where you get them, all of this is random. Like maybe you've noticed that sometimes there's no witch in this place. And I don't think we had a witch. Oh no, actually Three, I think we had witch two, at the start. One. Yeah, I think there's three locations total. Maybe four. I think it's three. And the one in the kitchen is like on the other side that we usually don't go there. So uh, if uh, there's one there, you're basically never gonna see it. Interrupt. Yep. It's kind of like the same as uh, your dark card ticket Interrupt. with the uh, poisoners and three, the two, what's one. name? Ruiners, I think is the other name. Interrupt. And then don't quote me on that, but I think, I think that uh, once the route is set for the week, it Shut doesn't away. change. So like, if you see the witch over here that we got, it should be here like until the end of the week. 
But I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. It might be random every dungeon. Because back in the day, I, I played a little bit of the uh, original... Uh, hmm. Waycrest Manor. Um, the doors in the mansion would be closed. So, every time you zone in, there would be, like, some of the doors would be open and some of the doors would be closed. And based on which ones were open, that would basically determine your route. And sometimes, like, we always stay on the second, on the, on the first floor, but there's actually a second floor. And sometimes you would be forced to go to the second floor and find your way from there to the rest of the uh, dungeon. Um, and I think that was problem in BFA because some routes were obviously much easier to play than others and uh, you know if you get a bad route on a high key that could mean that you're not timing the key you know so I think this is kind of like left over from this um, like where the witches are etc is connected with the routes that you get and the doors that were open interesting concept but the route should be stable I mean I would love I, I love dungeons where you have choice. So if there's few routes and you can you can pick, that's actually great. But if they force you to do something and there's other options that you're locked out of, then that's Three, not fine, yeah. Two, that's actually quite bad. One. And I think this is why uh, in this iteration of Waycrest Manor, they made it so all the doors are open because people were just not happy like you're farming keys, you're trying to get oh, your crap. Waycrest Manor at whatever level, you get it, you zone in, and it's like the worst possible route. And you're like, oh no, now my key is bricked and I have to farm it again, just because I wasn't lucky when we zoned in the dungeon. Right, so... I think that's a big part of the problem why they, uh... Three, two, one. Watch your step. Ooh, please don't die, please don't chase me. Let's panic a little bit. That's my panic button. Watch your step. Three, two, one. Break line spread. So community feedback worked? Um I think so, yeah. I think that's why they did it, right? Because the community basically said this is bad. Watch your step. I didn't play that much back in uh, BFA, but uh, I think that was one of the main things that they gave as a feedback. So, <clears throat> what happened there? Oh, they spread it. Great. Three, two, one. But like, when you say did the community step. feedback work? Actually, I don't know. Because uh, there was a lot of feedback that we gave for, uh, let's say, uh, Murazon's Rice. And none of that was Spread. accounted for. So, oh no. Why was there so much damage? Like, the first time they died, they, they spread the thing, but... <clears throat> I guess we go again. And I guess I should pay a little bit more attention in this fight. Actually, we still have time. We have lost this time, so... If this guy ever <gasps> dies... But yeah, as I said... I personally made sure to provide as much feedback on the uh, Morazon's Rise dungeon as I could because I kind of felt it's not going to be a good one. And all they did was... Alright, they, they fixed Morchi. Morchi, on the initial version, Morchi was times worse than what it is right now, right? Uh, like, the, the skills would be spammed all the time and you would just wipe on, on damage. Uh, but even the fact that, like... There was so much walking around. They did reduce the RP, but the amount was like, from let's say 10 minutes, they put it down to like 5 or 4, which is still too much. And um, that's why I wasn't happy, because there was so much feedback, and people are still saying so many things about Rice, and they're not addressing them. 
Yeah, it's c compared to the other dungeons, <laughs> the timer there is just unfair. Because everywhere else you get so much time and... On Rise you actually have to hur hurry. But I like the fact that the dungeon timers are not so tight this season. It's... Wait, do we have... We have a mage. Why am I lusting? Watch your step. Three, two, one. I just realized there's a witch on the side that I should be careful about. Watch your step. Uh, somebody pulled it. Great. Wasn't me though. Spread. Three, two, one. Break right. mm. We interrupt. We interrupt it. The tank doesn't even know it's here. Oh my great, I'm tanking. What so this is how the key ends. Honestly, this is on the tank. He should have just killed it. In a park, you kill everything. Two, one. Okay, we come in here. The lady's down, so that's good. Oh, not now the vine, not now the vine! Meeting some bolts in the face. And now the tank is dead. Oh! Oh, he, they, they rest, they rest, the warlock rest, boys! Imagine! Can we kill the lady, please? There we go. Jesus, that was so hectic. Spread. Oh, we rest somebody else. Imagine. Three, two, one. Break line. You pull it every time accidentally? Yeah. I mean, honestly, the first pool, I didn't even realize it's there. I knew it's there for the second, but somebody else didn't, so... Oh, it's right here. I, I always forget that the waypoint updates. Oh, there's two mobs there that I just pulled. Okay. I don't know if that was intentional, actually. Tank should clear the whole room. Yeah, I mean, especially in a pug, you know that somebody's gonna like pull it, right? And even if it's not, you should say before you pull the balls, because you know you left that there, right? You should say, guys, Three, there's a mob two, there. One. Be careful, right? Oh shit! Yeah, what do you expect to happen, guys? You staggered this so badly. <laughs> Let's see if this guy figures out that he needs to release. Somebody typed in chat. Now he knows. <laughs> this warlock doing tank damage. This is not how I imagined I would get my uh, portal in Wordpress, but actually, let's not jinx it. Ain't over until it's over. I guess they got it. Hey, oh, 
be incoming. Three, two, one. Break that didn't hit that anyone. Should have charged this or recharge it, I should say. Interrupt. Where did it die? ALE incoming. Oh, let's use Zephyr here. Definitely didn't use it enough. Break run. Yep. one is burned never mind okay you know as long as you complete the key we got a cloak free haste what do we have okay we have this and oh did i get something i got quest hello wait did we just one piece of gear there we go and we get a haste burst ring. Eh. I guess. It's fine. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I mean, it's not a huge congrats. That was actually quite a dismal key, but... The important part is we got it done. 